This is Reverend Evan Sackett. <clears throat> you know, um, I hope that I'm not repeating myself in a lot of these videos, but I think that a lot of the points that I bring up from time to time have to be stressed, that uh, these points need to be stressed. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, and this is to anyone watching this video. Do you remember your first prom? Do you remember your junior prom, your senior prom? Do you remember being escorted by a junior or a senior to a prom? I don't. I never went to a prom. Never been to a prom. I never was an escort for the homecoming queen or any of the homecoming teams or whatever. I never was with the in crowd. And you would think that almost ten years later that would be completely gone. I haven't thought of it in years. I never really regretted my high school years. I mean, I knew that I could have probably been with the in crowd. I knew everyone, and everyone knew me. But, um, I mean, I didn't join any particular clique. I mean, people liked me for my humor. I made people laugh, but no one ever took me seriously. I was either asleep because of depression or drug use, or I was, um, you know, acting a, a fucking fool. You know, that was, that was my mechanism for uh, making people like me and was trying to be the class clown. People never took me seriously. I never really wanted to be a part of any special, special clique because of the popularity. I didn't give a fuck about the popularity. It was the, the girls that I wanted. One girl in particular. And if you want to know who that one girl is, I suggest you go to visualcircle.org and read the blogs, and you will find out who that one girl is. She doesn't want me to name her name. She knows. She knows about the crush. She knows about the obsession that I did have at one time. I don't anymore, but at one point in time, I did have an obsession for her. And uh, her coming back into my life has... Uh, brought back all those memories of wanting to be what the girls wanted. Wanting to be one of those handsome six-packers that was, you know, could have any girl that he wanted. And as I've grown up and matured, I've been told by many people that I'm an attractive person, by older women mainly, which I take that with great confidence, but it seems like mostly guys, and straight guys, mind you, are the ones calling me ugly, that tell me that I don't have a chance, but um, I realize now that, I mean, does that matter? I mean, how many women have you slept with if you're a man? What, 10, 15? You think that's something to brag about? Do you not know the likelihood of those 10 or 15 girls that you slept with having some sort of venereal disease? Did you wake up one morning with your dick clapped shut, unable to piss because you got gonorrhea from fucking some whore? And you call that something to brag about? You went on how many women I've slept with in my whole life? Three. Three women. You know how many girls I slept with in high school? One one girl and two since then and it's a, it's a tough thing to go through you know living a life of uh, loneliness rejection and people tell you that you know confidence have confidence have confidence and the law will come to you fuck that some people were just blessed with good looks and popularity I never had to deal with being deemed not good enough. It's almost like in order to have the beautiful, you have to have the ugly to coincide. But what it looks matter because they deteriorate, they they dissolve 
to any of you beautiful women out there who have ever put somebody down that's ugly, your day will come. Trust me, it will. Oh, and by the way, all you beautiful young 15-year-old cheerleaders that make fun of the ugly girls, whenever your uh, 20 or 30th uh, high school reunion comes up, take a good look around. You might be surprised who the ugly ones are then. Take my word on it. And you might be surprised who the pretty ones are then. I've seen people who had their day, and it was in high school. And would you rather have your best time in your life in four short years, or would you rather uh, substitute those four years for a lifetime of success? Anyone in their right mind would take the lifetime. There are some people who have both, but not many. Not many. Some people don't ask for it. Some, some people, it just comes to them naturally. But I've witnessed with my own eyes the girls, the guys that seem to really have a lot in high school and watched them deteriorate into nothingness, destroy their lives, throw away everything they have, just for no reason, for no apparent reason. The people I've seen die, the people I've seen uh, go. It's just but a fraction. <clears throat> I mean, to know that maybe you were the homecoming queen, or maybe you escorted the homecoming queen your senior year in high school, but that's just a speck. All you are is a yellow, crumbling page in somebody's yearbook. And that's all you'll ever be. Don't kid yourself. Do you think that um, escorting a homecoming queen is going to help you get a job later on in life? Do you think that being the homecoming queen is going to help you get into Harvard? I don't think so. My point being to all of this, to all you kids out there, and I know that I have a lot of young viewers that, um, claim, uh, that claim that I inspire them, that they take my advice to heart. And I don't, I don't pretend to be any advisor of any kind. I'm not a person with the answers. All I know is what I've seen. <clears throat> I'm an observer. I've seen what happens when people make the wrong decisions. I've seen it my whole life. That's all I've seen. I've seen people make the wrong choices, the wrong choices, the wrong choices after and after and again and again and again and again and again. I've seen lives destroyed, ruined, burned, mutilated, beyond recognition. I've seen it a hundred thousand times. And if there's one thing I know, it's if you're going down the wrong path. So my advice to those kids out there who are struggling in high school right now, find something. Find something that... that um, you didn't think you could accomplish. Like um, a certain girl that you didn't think you could date. And go and ask that girl out. Find out what she likes. And the moment she's single, go for it. See what happens. Because I am a standing testament that you can experience the person that you hold in high regard. And you just might, just might find out that person that you hold in high regard is less than what you are and maybe that person is not what you thought they were and you weren't in love with that person you were in love with the idea of that person and that person puts you down and that person holds you in low regard even to this day even though they know that they are not above you and they told you that themselves, and then now they try to say that they are above you? Fuck off. You're just another miserable person that failed at life. Poor you.